to The Update, I'm Emma Stig. We're being assured the COVID vaccine rollout for young children will not be expanded unless it's safe to do so. Pfizer has lodged an application to administer its shot to those aged 5 to 11. Prime Minister Scott Morrison says medical experts are still assessing the risks and the benefits. Any parent, I'm sure, uh, would want the government to be being as careful as possible. We'll be ready to go if and when the medical experts say it's safe to do so. New figures show the majority of people who caught COVID during the Delta outbreak in Australia were unvaccinated. Of the 8,500 people admitted to hospital, less than 6% were double jabbed. Only 47 of the 412 related deaths were fully vaccinated. It comes as community pharmacies are added to the list of health facilities being stocked with Pfizer as Australia's booster shot rollout gets underway. 170,000 people have already received their top-up jab. An inquiry into Australia's role in the 20-year conflict in Afghanistan has been told families of Aussie soldiers were intimidated into silence by the Defence Force. Hugh Poet, whose son Robert was killed in 2012, says he was threatened by Defence when he raised questions about the investigation into his son's death. A man has been arrested outside the Victorian Parliament after climbing onto the roof of his car armed with a crossbow He's undergoing a mental health assessment. And a 16-year-old girl in the US has been rescued after using a hand gesture to alert a passing motorist that she was in trouble. The signal gained publicity on TikTok for indicating domestic violence situations. In sport, Australia will play Pakistan in the semi-finals of the Men's T20 World Cup. The game will be played in Dubai on Friday morning. The Wallabies have a few injury concerns ahead of the second spring tour test against England this weekend. Winger Jordan Pattaya has picked up a hamstring injury while Taniela Tupo copped a head knock in the 15-13 point loss to Scotland. And Novak Djokovic has capped off a record breaking week by defeating Daniil Medvedev to take out the Paris Masters. In entertainment news rappers Travis Scott and Drake have been slapped with a lawsuit for negligence over the deadly Astro World Festival stampede. Eight people were killed and hundreds more were injured at the event in Houston, Texas. Vin Diesel wants Dwayne Johnson to return to the Fast and Furious franchise for its 10th film. He's taken to Instagram, urging The Rock to set aside their public feud and sign on. And Adele has played her first concert since 2017 in London, and her guest list included Beyonce, Idris Elba and Dua Lipa. That's the latest from the Nova Podcast News team, but we'll see you tomorrow morning for another episode of The Update.